Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to give you some updates on the uh, Opus 3 here. This is from the last video, and I have to give my brother credit for holding the camera for me here because this is I really need two hands to do this one. Um, and basically this is Jason's, the same one I was showing in the other video. So Jason, this is also for you, uh, just to show you some of the updates and stuff that's going on with your Opus 3. Uh, basically, there's a few things I didn't mention last video that I want to bring up that I fixed. And I just forgot to bring it up in the last video. Um, I don't think I did anyways, but if I did, just ignore it. Um, one of the first issues was the articulation switch here it didn't work. It, it worked in mode 1, but mode 2 did nothing. And what I found was it was actually this chip right here. It's a 4007 a switching IC, which they're very common to fail. I see that in just about everything Moog related that has like a switching circuit that's a, a logic switch or whatever it's usually that chip because it's usually being controlled by a logic gate um, so he failed and that was your problem there the other issue I forgot to mention, I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention this one um, was that your chorus effect for your uh, fast and slow speeds was not working and what I found there was that you actually had a solder bridge across your switch so I just basically just reflowed the solder and it was fine. Uh, it took care of that problem. Uh, the rest of the things I've been working on is I've actually replaced the divider chips for your uh, D sharps and the one for your E that was missing the ranks of the draw bars. I'm going to call them draw bars. Um, so basically I'm just going to go through. I cleaned all your, all your uh, sliders as well. And they're all nice and smooth. I'll give you a demo of that. Uh, the only thing I'm waiting on right now is I got all new capacitors coming just to do a preventive maintenance uh, kind of thing on it here just to make sure it lasts another you know 30 45 years for you um, so anyways let me go through this I'll just kind of show you what this sounds like we'll start off with the uh, chorus I'll show you the slow uh, your slow and fast rate uh, control here as you can hear <laughs> So what I want to show you too is this, this I didn't bring this up last last time. But I'd like to bring this up. This is actually like the Polymoog uh, resonator section. It's just like one part of it though. And you got a, a I think it's low pass, band pass, and high pass. So it's very similar to how the Polymoog works and its resonator. Uh, but I'll give you a demo of this. So here we go. The more harmonics I put into it, the more it resonates. That's a band pass there. You can open it up and close it, make it more interactive. That's high pass. And that's open back up. But that's like a little resonator section of a poly mode, which is kind of cool. So I just want to bring that up. And then uh, also I'll show you that the ranks of your of your notes are working here. This is your D, which was was completely not working. Your D sharp, as you can hear. As you can hear, they're all there. All that's working. And also on your E note, which your E was missing two of the ranks or draw bars. Uh, you had these three, as you can hear. But now you got you got all of them. So all your so they're all working. Uh, really, the last things that we're on to now is just uh, recap, and then I'm going to clean your chassis up and put everything back together. Uh, also, let me show you your filter too, right quick. I meant to bring this up. Your filter now has a nice response. There is no jumping in frequency or anything when you move the slider. As you can hear. As you can hear. 
nice and clean. Your envelope generator, I cleaned all these sliders as well and actually replaced a few of these. Now I'll give you a demo of this right here. I'm going to go to mode 1 on articulation. And what it does, it actually makes the string, the chorus effect, come in later. It's kind of like uh, on the Selena string ensemble, how you got uh, 16 and 8, and then you got 16 and 8, or let's see if I remember this right, you got 16 and 8 and then 4, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I've been around the Selena. But it makes like the uh, fourth rank come in later. Well, it's kind of it's kind of the same kind of effect. So you get something like this. Basically what you're hearing is you're hearing the envelope generator from the filter. This one comes in and it resets every time I hear a note. If I set it on articulation 2, that's where you just have a build up of notes. So that takes care of that. make the oscillator modulate and you hear the organ. Have to get a kind of slow rate. strings. Uh, but anyways, I just want to take a quick minute here and just give you an update, Jason, and for anybody else that's been following this video, I just wanted to give you a good update here. And uh, I'll have another update when I have it all together and fully working as a, as a whole unit. Uh, but appreciate you watching and uh, take care.